What's going on, family? I just wanted to go over the changes that I've been making to my draw stroke and kind of where I'm at right now, or at least hoping to be with uh, the reps that I'm getting in dry fire. So this is me a little while ago. Uh, I don't know how many months ago it is, but you can tell I have a long sleeve shirt, so it's cold outside. So notice where my support hand is kind of landing when I go to draw. And for those that don't know, when you draw, you want to get your support hand out of the way so you don't flag yourself or basically point the gun at yourself. Um, obviously that's violating one of the laws of safety. So you want to get it out of the way. The second thing you want to do is get it close to the body so that you can begin to establish your two hand shooting grip. All right. So I'm going to let this run forward a little bit. So right here, if I can stop it right here. My hand is way too high. All right. The problem with having my hand there is that it's so high that once I get the gun out, I actually have to dip my hand away below the gun in order to get my grip established. So I'm here, gun comes out, you see how much lower I have to actually go back under the gun, way under the gun to get my grip. All right, so that's kind of wasting uh, motion, which means it's wasting time. All right, it also means I'm chasing the gun as well because I'm trying to get my grip. I should have been getting it much earlier. So I end up getting my grip a lot farther out and it causes some inconsistencies with how I'm grabbing the gun. So my crazy butt, after someone points that out and says, hey, Will, your hand is too high, I go the complete opposite way, and I end up here. So this is recent. This is actually this morning. So now what I ended up doing is trying to keep my hand lower, but the problem that I'm having is I'm actually hitting my belt each time, which is way too low. So I'm actually got into the habit of somehow pushing down on my belt. Subconsciously, I don't know why I'm doing that, um, but that's what happens. So... Here, you'll see this run, and I'm tapping my belt. So I'll tap my belt, and then I'll get try to get my grip. So now, just like being too high, this time I'm so low that as the gun comes out, I'm chasing it again. So again, I'm getting my grip way too far from my body, and it's all over the place. Sometimes I can nail it. Other times, my grip is horrible because that support hand is not really where, uh, where it should be on the gun. So this is a rep from tonight. This is where I'm trying to be. It's not muscle memory yet. When I try to go fast and I don't think about it, I go back to tapping my belt. So this was this evening. This is closer to where I want to be. I'm still refining it slightly, but this is much better. So now I'm kind of in between the first one and the last one. So I'm not all the way up high on my pec, and I'm not all the way down on my belt. I'm kind of right beneath um, my right pec. All right. So I'm going to let this one go forward. So now I'm here. This is much better. So once the gun clears the holster, I point it down range. I can start to get my grip a lot sooner. And I've noticed just in dry fire, just when I put my hand there, I'm getting my grip way sooner than I was before. I'm not chasing the gun. By the time I present, it's rock solid. Um, so that is helping my grip just by itself, just by placing my hand there and I can get it on the gun earlier. Either way, I just wanted to kind of share kind of where I was, what I changed to and where I'm ultimately trying to be uh, just in case it help someone else. I know people have helped me with this along the way. So either way, if you have questions, you already know what to do.